film has a way of speaking without words. The director guides our eyes with the camera. Each angle, each movement and shot selected deliberately to coax us to feel or think a certain way beyond any dialogue being said. 3D games can also explore these same techniques, some going the extra mile to pull off truly cinematic masterpieces, while others, well, seem to forget the camera can do anything beyond a static zoom in on a character's face. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Though it demands more effort, the emotional reward of visually guiding the player through the narrative of your world should not be understated. Even a simple scene full of geometric cubes, while hardly a spectacle, can be given renewed meaning as the camera moves around. They're part of a different narrative now. The locked focus makes even this mundane arrangement become charged with a newfound sense of relevance. But then the camera retreats, forcing us to confront a greater context. Those cubes, once the central focus, now appear inconsequential, swallowed by the vastness of this forsaken museum that's been lost to time. As the view widens, we are faced with an unnerving question. What if these lifeless cubes and this empty museum are all that's left? Relics of a world that has long since fallen silent. As the frame settles on a candle still defiantly flickering, a subtle shift in narrative occurs. Are we alone in this space? Or does someone, something, still tread these forsaken corridors? Enter our protagonist, an aging and worn robot. As we follow, the camera effectively places you in its reality. You're not just observing, you're walking beside it, sharing in its unspoken mission to keep the place in order, to keep the flame of hope alive that visitors might one day return. The camera doesn't just document these events, it amplifies even the mundane to be central to the plot. The robot might be alone, but for a moment, it's as if you're right there with it as it shows you around the museum, a final visitor it has longed for. A projection of what was lays a stark contrast to the current reality. The camera's slow retreat captures the robot's frame shrinking against the expansive backdrop of that recorded memory, silently linking the caretaker with the life it once knew and struggles to preserve, inviting us to reflect on the transience of things we hold dear. The camera gently drifts towards the last exhibit, standing tall and focused, capturing the robot as it scans this piece in quiet reverence, it's a defining moment, embodying the robot's ceaseless commitment to a forgotten world. But I'm a morbid son of a bitch sometimes, so the piece shatters. Our lens becomes an unflinching witness to the sudden and gut-wrenching frailty of what the robot is trying to protect. And as the camera withdraws, drifting away from the shattered remains, the shrinking of the robot's diligent focus on the exhibit in the frame draws our attention wider to what is truly missing. It was never about the objects enshrined in this forgotten museum, it was about the people who once admired them. That's the true loss we're witnessing here. The absence not of things, but of human connection.